this is Chad from MissionBit. With this video today, we're going to go through how to review a pull request, what to look for, and eventually how to merge it and confirm that the code has been moved to the remote repository. When somebody on your team has finished working on a feature, they're going to create a pull request. This can be shown in another video. You as a reviewer will go up to the pull request tab and see that a pull request has been opened by one of your teammates. The title of the pull request should state roughly what that pull request is going to be doing. Clicking on it will take you into the project where you'll be able to see a greater description and the usage to describe how exactly you would test this pull request. Both of these are important components so that other people that are reviewing your code can understand exactly what it's doing and how you can test it out. Once you understand what it should be doing, you can go ahead and look at the code. Jumping into the code, this is supposed to create a counter that counts up to five. It's clear that we have a simple for loop here that's going to that's going to increment from one to five. Now, once we think that this looks good, we can review changes. However, because this was the first commit, I made a recommendation to the person who authored this that we move this into directory so we can store all of our source code in one place. You can add high level comments down here in order to recommend changes to your teammates. However, you can also add them inline in the commit itself. Here I make the suggestion to Reese to actually add the code to a source directory so that all of our code can be in one place. Once he's done that, he can go ahead and comment back that it's been finished and we can check what that next commit actually is. So here you can see that this was simply moved under a new directory. Once we're happy with this change, we can go ahead and approve this while leaving a comment. Once everything has been approved, we can actually merge the pull request. Traditionally, this is something that the code owner should do, but since this is a demonstration video, I'm gonna go ahead and merge myself. Once the code is merged, we can actually pull this in our local instance of this project in order to get the latest code. Let's jump over to the terminal to do that. To pull the latest code, we just say get pull from the main branch. We can see that there are the new changes. We should now have them locally. So in order to do this, we can follow the testing that Reese suggested. If you go back here, it says in the terminal, navigate to the team collaboration directory and run python source counter.py. So here we can go ahead and look and see the source folder. We can go into that directory. We can see counter, and now we can go ahead and run this. Now it counts to five, this looks correct, and we know that the code is there.